Now, I don't know any golfer that doesn't want more distance, especially when it's into the wind, right? We want to be able to hit that golf ball much, much further. We think it's the best thing to lower our scores, and you would be right, but this is something that I see far too often. We try and turn to hit the ball further. It just doesn't work. You lose control, you lose accuracy, and you actually don't hit the goal ball any further, but you're putting way more effort in. Now, the reason I'm bringing up this video is we've seen a lot of comments. Uh, one from Lee Hobbs, another one from Portaloon, all about increasing the distance they hit it, and they feel that this is their solution to hitting it further. Well, I've got the thing you should do. Now, it makes sense, doesn't it? Swinging it further, hits it longer. Right, we're gonna use this little bit of a station in this video, so I'll show you how to set this up in a second. So have a look at this, right? As you move to face on, it really does make sense that the more you wind up, the longer you're gonna hit it. Yes, if you're a long driver, doing this might help you hit it further, but what they still have is separation. The problem that I see is, is when you try and swing longer, you allow your hips and your shoulders to turn by the same amount, then really you're not creating an X factor. Now, simply an X factor is the difference in the angle between if you had a line through your hips and a line through your shoulders, we want that to be as big as possible as we start down. If this is all turning together, we're really not storing any power like this. And I feel like I get out of control, I get loose. My club face sometimes points left, sometimes points right, and really not what I want to see. So what I'm going to show you is a way you can create this. Look at this coil. I mean, you can hear the difference in my voice. And this is how you're going to set it up. So how we're gonna set up this system and train it into your golf swing is using this. So this first one is our feet line. The second one is gonna be our hip line. Now, that is measured simply just with a golf club head width apart. It's only a rough guide. It's something you can look at on the ground. So the idea I want you to have, and listen to my wording here, I want you to feel your upper half is turning against your lower, not your lower half chasing your upper. So, first thing in the first part of the system is just to get a club across your chest, get your feet parallel to this line, and really feel you're gonna wind up as far as you can, so if you're a bit more of an older golfer, less flexible, don't worry, just do this the best you can. And I want you to feel that your hips don't get past this line. In theory they will, but you're learning to have more shoulder turn than hip turn like that. So give me sort of eight to 10 reps, have a look closely what I'm doing, and I'm really feeling like I'm storing power up in here. That's what I want you to have. I don't want to say it feels uncomfortable, but I want you to feel like an active coil up. Right, that's all well and good, but how would you take that to the golf course? Well, this is the most simple analogy ever. So I'm gonna hit two away here and just take full advantage of this hole. This is the fourth at Mottram Hall, and actually the wind is off the right today, so it's a, a little bit of a lifesaver. It helps me stop fading it so much. By the way, what is your preferred ball flight, by the way? And also, <laughs> new driver is incoming. Um, I might be lofting this down. I've been testing it out, maybe go nine and a half. But anyway, okay, so this is how you're gonna take it to the golf course. And I would have this in sort of the back of my mind every time I'm hitting a shot, whether that be with an iron or whether that be with your driver. So let's imagine if you're looking down from the player cam perspective, that golf ball is at 12 o'clock. I want you to think this. My hips can turn to one o'clock and I get my back to target. That is the way you're gonna get that feeling of that coil up. Hips to one, back to target. And if I just sort of do this first one, really sort of quite slow and deliberate, and then we'll hit one at full speed. So I'll, I'll call it out. And you know what, I, I find that sort of helps me sometimes too. So here we go, back to target, hips to one. I mean, how far has that just gone? Then you'll be able to see on the screen now how far that's gone. That was a really nice feeling of that coil up. I felt like I was hitting all those points. 
I might try and be a bit more deliberate with this. So I'll do a little bit more closer to my normal speed here. Again, think of your clock face, hips to one, back to target. I can't miss. Did you see that ball flight? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to never miss an upload. I want to help you play your best golf in 2023.